Hey guys, it's Dr. Dex. Hi, it's been a while. Medyo nakakapagod yung mga nakaraang linggo, no? Ang dami-daming nangyayari at ang dami-dami talagang kailangan gawin. But I hope everyone had their time to rest in. At ngayong episode na to, hindi kayo. Sama ko kayo sa isang not-so-typical Sunday ko. So, tara. Today kasi, nag-decide kami ni Doc Babs na itry yung isang restaurant sa BGC. Pero, syempre, kahit linggo, hindi pa rin talaga magpapatalo ang traffic. This Sunday, naisipan namin itry yung food na sinaserve sa Gallery by Shelle. Sa ano? Sa yung pagkain na maliit yung sinaserve. Mayroon silang iba't ibang selections and for today, we tried their tasting menu. Mayroon niyang two variations, yung six cores at saka yung nine cores tasting menu. Kinuha namin yung six cores lang. Oh, and one more thing. Dahil Adventist si Doc Babs, she has her restrictions pagdating sa pagkain. At ang maganda dito sa gallery, they took into consideration her food restrictions and made her experience their tasting menu sa pamamaraang hindi naman mababawasan yung quality. Mayroon silang uh, envelope for your masks. Uh, Siguradong safe time. Di ba may COVID pa rin? Gusto siya. Gusto niya makita yung kinain namin? Tara. It's the first set of your bites. Came from Google, actually. So first one here is a crispy tapioca with beef tartar on top with the pickled onion. Next one here is the uni pate. So instead of uni, which is a uh, seafood actually, uh -huh. okay, we use avocado. Big yeah. jelly, dalandan jam, pomelo, and twin chips on the side. This one is called the uni pate. Uh -huh. So uni came from Bicol. Uh -huh. Okay, it's the urchin that we combine with the shrimp bisque to make the creamy pate. So on top of that, sabi na jelly with dalandan jam, pomelo, and to add some more texture, you add some uni quill on the side. So this one is a crab lato, homemade fresh from pear wrapper. So inside of this one is a crab meat with tomato and cucumber. And to add some balance in it, we'll sub we add some balsamic vinaigrette. And on top is a pancit pancitan and lato seaweeds. The merang is our savory merang. Inside is chicken lato bones. And next one is our representation of Shao Pao. This one is called the pastrami bao. Okay. Steam bao. Inside is a pastrami that we brush with charsi. And to add some more textures, we add some cucumber and hoisin mayo in it. For the last bite, you will be having from Pampanga. I just explained first for you. You will be having is insulin tacos. Okay. So, fried tofu. Okay. Insulin lips. And on top is a micro cilantro. We add some diet mayo and a little bit of pickled onion. This is our presentation of kare kare bon bon, but this one is beef. Okay, so okay. para lang peanuts. Okay, so inside is a beef chips with the back with pork on the outside. And on top of this one is a garlic mayo. And for dessert, this is a kare kare bago of mayo. Okay. So next one is our presentation of tacos sisi. Okay, Pampanga is very famous in sisi. So here instead of pork, we use uh, octopus. Sisig the octopus and then the red radish, okay, beetroot, okay, with onion, and dye of mayo, and a little bit of micro cilantro. Oh, teka. Nabilang nyo ba? O di pa parang nakaanim na kami? Akala namin talaga yun na yun. Muntik na kami mag-bailout at umorder pa ng more meals pero yun pala, nasa bites pa lang kami at papunta pa lang kami talaga sa exciting part. Buti na lang sinabihan kami ng isang server na may paparating pa. Dinala rin kami ng mga luto sa gallery by Chef Shelly sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas. Sa isang upuan, ang dami talaga namin napuntahan. Una, nakarating kami sa Seruma, isang isla na ang mga tao ay mayroong napakagandang connection sa kanilang environment. Sa kabiyaw naman, nakaatikim kami ng kakaibang fermented rice. Sa Hermosa sa Bataan naman, nakilala namin ng isang tanyag na babaeng mula sa tribo ng mga Aida. Dito, pinatikim niya kami ng biduho. 
napakayaman sa lasa ng dish na to, parang sumasabog sa bibig mo yung dami ng flavors. Bumalik din kami sa glit sa ciudad para makatikim ng konting ice crumble na mayroong kakaibang aftertaste. Tikman nyo to, kakaiba talaga. Pwede palang i-upgrade yung ice crumble. And then we went south to Camarina Sur kung saan sobrang saya ng experience sa gata at lalo at higit sa laing which also served as our main course. Saktong-sakto din ang oras na pang siesta. Almost alas dos, alas dos e media, dinala kami ni na Chef Shedda sa Amadeo para tikman ang kakaibang take sa coffee na mayroon ding kakaibang sipa. And after our taste buds trip to some of our very rich food culture, our last stop is the traditional bibingka. At dahil magpapasko na, sakto, bilan nyo na din yung mga kadate nyo ng bibingka. And that, my friends, was our not-so-typical Sunday. Minsan lang din naman po namin i-reward ang aming mga sarili after our busy schedules. Ang tanong, uulit ba kami sa experience na to? Ang sabi namin, yes, lalo na kung mayroong special location and also kapag naghain na ulit siguro sila ng panibagong menu. Ayaw namang ulit-ulitin na lang, di ba? The experience took us around 2 to 3 hours to finish and the price was definitely worth it. Napakayaman ng Pilipinas sa napakaraming dishes na magandang ma-explore, masubukan at ma-discover. Sana yung mga indigenous recipes din natin ay ma-preserve para ma-experience din ng mga susunod na henerasyon. At ayun, sana po ay nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to. Nag-enjoy kaming kumain. Sana masarap po ang mga ulam ninyo. Salamat sa panonood. Till next video.